Greetings everyone. First of all, I would like to thank each and every one of my subscribers and viewers for they have kept me motivated and fueled these short and informative videos. Today, we take a look at the code on wages, the provisions which give importance and substance to the word wages. Chapter 3, containing sections 15 to 25 of the code, deals with payment of wages. Section 15 of the code prescribes five modes of payment of wages. An employer may pay his employee wages in the form of currency coins, currency notes, checks, bank transfer, electronic modes of transfer. It may be noted that the government has retained the right to restrict the mode of payment. Section 16 deals with fixing the wage period by the employer. This may be set on a daily, weekly, fortnightly, or monthly basis, but in no case shall an employer set the wage period beyond a month. Section 17 of the code deals with time to make payment. This section explains when the wage is payable by the employee, employer to the employer and is based on the wage period. In cases where the wage period is fixed on a daily basis, the wages are to be paid at the end of the shift. In cases where the wage period is fixed on a weekly basis, the wages are to be paid at the end of the week and in any case before the weekly holiday, that is the day of rest of the employee. In cases where the wage period is fixed on a fortnightly basis, within two days from the end of the fortnight. And finally, in cases where the wage period is fixed on a monthly basis, wages are payable within seven days of the succeeding month. In case of termination of the employee, the amount of wages is payable within two days of the last date of employment. This is a new addition carved out in the code, which did not exist in the previous laws on employment. This change will ensure faster release of the full and final settlement of the employees, which at presently takes 30 to 45 days on an average.